Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the fourth module of uh, 18 CS 51 and in this module we have something that some topics about the uh, project and the ERP means enterprise resource planning and uh, we will be discussing about what is a project and the identification selection and how to maintain the project, what is the need and significance and uh, uh, guidelines to um, organize the project okay. And uh, then we will uh, discuss about the uh, resource planning, what are the different domains in which the ERP is used and how to uh, make the effective use of ERP and the types of report and the methods of report generation okay. So if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel okay. So let's uh, begin with the topic. The first is what is a project? Project is a scheme or a design or a proposal of something intended or device to be achieved okay. That's a project. Project can be uh, thought of as a plan okay. And the success or the failure depends on the project type okay. And um, there are three attributes like uh, the course of the action objectives and the, the time perspectives okay these three things should be kept in mind when designing a project okay and uh, every objective uh, every project has a start and end point with a specific objective okay so conception of the idea and then definition development and evaluation okay how to identify a project project identification is very important because the success and failure of a company depends on the type of the project okay so here are some of the um, things which uh, we need to keep in mind like uh, knowledge of the potential customer needs, personal observation of the trends, scope of the uh, producing uh, product and the ideas by the knowledgeable persons okay. These four factors are um, necessary before we take up any step to develop the project okay. And what is the uh, project selection? So here are some factors which we need to keep in mind before selecting a project like uh, investment size, investment size, uh, finance and location, technology. Uh, plant and machinery and marketing okay so we need to have a knowledge about these uh, domains before uh, selecting a project okay and then the contents of the project report a project report is nothing but a formal uh, documentation of what uh, the project is and the different um, subdomains in it okay so let's uh, discuss the uh, contents it should have the general general information promoter the leader of the project the location land and building uh, plants and machinery and production prices okay and it also includes uh, the following factors which are not uh, the main uh, core um, factors but the uh, like, uh, they are necessary but not compulsory okay and the formulation of the project report now uh, we will be, uh, we'll be discussing about how to write the project report okay first it should have the general information in that we'll have the bio data of the leader industry profile constitution and organization and the product details okay after that we have the product uh, project description it should include the site physical infrastructure like raw materials uh, labor and utilities and pollution control communication and transport facilities i guess these are the topics which are self explanatory so let's uh, move on to the next one which is uh, market potential so what is the demand and supply capital cost the finance and the um, total funds uh, raised from the institutions and the assessment of the working capital about the employees and other financial aspects like uh, what is the um, sales revenue like expected sales revenue and break even point uh, means at that point the business is neutral okay that means uh, no profit or no loss okay that point is known as break even point okay and economical and social variables and um, project implementation okay means the entrepreneur should have a scheme or a roadmap of what the project is and the uh, uh, timings for each of those steps okay and to implement any project uh, the commission uh, has put some guidelines to follow when uh, doing some project okay like in uh, um, in the corporate uh, terms okay so the it should contain the general information which uh, which, uh, which we have already discussed like it should include the analysis of the uh, industry means it should have information about the industry um, the historical background and the objective like the objectives of the industry preliminary analysis of the alternatives like some backup plans and it should have it should explain um, how the project is bridging the gap between the current supply and the demand and it should fall it should be followed by the project description so it should have what the project will do what technologies it will use and and after that we have some uh, subtopics like marketing plan capital requirement and cost operating requirement and cost financial and economic analysis okay and the meaning and significance of project report now why is there a need for project report it's a kind of roadmap okay so uh, we'll keep a track of the progress okay and it includes the economic technical financial production and managerial aspects okay 
coming to enterprise resource planning it's a fully integrated business management system okay it's a management system okay in that uh, it's uh, it meant it's uh, its main task is to uh, suppose that there is a company a okay there is a company a and its task is to produce the uh, goods like um, mobile phones okay so uh, there are many steps uh, from um, there are many steps uh, from the production to the delivery okay in all those steps erp will ensure that the pr uh, process is smooth okay so it um, its main aim is to um, manage the internal and external functions efficiently okay other advantages include like uh, improved uh, improved efficiency business integration better uh, decision making quick response time business analysis and marketing technology support okay and erp is used in mainly four domains marketing and sales supply chain management accounting and finance and human resource let's uh, discuss each of these and in each of these these four things are common information system collection of inputs and outputs thinking from the customer's perspective and look how, look how integration of the information system improves the business okay these four uh, factors are common to each of these uh, domains okay are common to each of these domains okay coming to the first one which is marketing and sales its functions are developing the product determining the price promoting the products and taking the customer orders and helping create a sales forecast forecast means having an uh, expected idea of how many sales will happen in the coming uh, year or month okay based on the previous sales okay and um, these are the connections like uh, management and sales with hr with accounting and finance with supply chain management with customer like uh, sales and order and sales forecast and uh, product quality and uh, sales um, analysis profit and loss and here we have the hiring needs and the job requirements and same thing goes for the supply chain management the supply chain management what it does is it ensures that um, there is a smooth process between the product uh, starting and the ending okay in that there is uh, supply chain here that will be managed by scm okay these are the connections with hr and ms af which is accounting and finance and the supplier okay and um, moving on we have the accounting and finance which records the data about transactions raw materials and purchases it also has the sales record and sales uh, forecast documentation and the accounting and finance keeps uh, tracks of uh, all of the records of transactions and these are the connections with each of these domains okay and human resource will be um, responsible for the reducing the unemployment in the country by working positive uh, by working positively towards the um training and um training of the people and what uh, it does is the uh, two main functions which is uh, managerial functions and operative functions here there are five important functions of hr like organization and planning organizing staffing organizing staffing directing and controlling okay and operating uh, operative functions include <coughs> and operative functions include human resource planning recruitment and selection placement induction and training okay and these are the connections uh, from hr to the accounting and finance and marketing sales and the scm now we have a table here which summarizes what all we learned here these are the four domains marketing supply chain accounting and uh, hr okay let's consider an example of the marketing and sales so it starts from marketing a product taking the sales orders customer support customer relationship management sales forecasting and advertising okay same goes for the other uh, domains also like purchasing goods receiving goods and scheduling and manufacturing maintaining and here we have the financial records planning and cash flow and here we have the recruitment and training payroll benefits and go uh, government compliance okay so these are the uh, examples of the areas of operation and their business functions coming to the type of project there are four status report which uh, is, uh, includes the daily weekly or monthly report of the progress risk report which um, reports about the uh, unsolved issues and the problems in the project and board and executive report like it's an organized and formal it's an organized and formal report about the project and lastly we have the resource uh, report which uh, reports about allocation of resources and the resources used okay so this is just a brief overview of the uh, module 4 let's uh, see the previous questions here most of the questions we have discussed like um, explain the need and significance of the project report what is a project report and the guidelines and the supply chain management human resource management functional areas of in the erp and there are different criteria for the project selection what is erp what's its importance and the objectives of market research okay so yeah that's all uh, for this uh, video and uh, thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one